Because we want to have the truth. We want to make sure that we worship God correctly. Because we see in several areas where in vain they did worship God, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. And we do not want that. So God's word is true. And God's word is what we're going to be judged by. In John chapter 12 and verse 48, Jesus said, He that rejected me and received not my words has one to judge him. These words that I speak, the same, shall judge you in the last day. We're going to be judged by the word of God. That's why it's so important for us to understand when Jesus said in John 14 and verse 15, he said, If you love me, keep my commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. 1 John 5 and verse 3. And his commandments are not grievous. So now we know what the meaning of love is. Along with 1 Corinthians 13. We got to have the personality. We got to keep the truth. That's why Jesus said that there in John chapter 3 where Nicodemus came to him by night. The ruler of the Jews said, I know you're a teacher from God because no man can do them miracles you're doing except God be with you. Jesus said, you must be born again. Nicodemus said, how can a man be born again when he's old? Can he go again into his mother's womb? Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So we must be born again. We've got to start that new life. And that's what makes the gospel of Christ good news. He made it possible for each and every one. He tasted death for each and every one of us. Read Hebrew 2 verse 9. He died in our place. 1 Peter 2.24 said he bore our sins in his own body on the tree. He washed our sins away in his own blood, Revelation 1 verse 4 and 5. So Jesus paid the price. You know, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 14 said, the love of God constraining us. We thus judge that one died for all, then we all were dead. And he that died for for them, they ought to live for him. Read 2 Corinthians 5, verses 14 and verses 15. Beautiful verses. And Paul writes in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 27, For as many of you have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Remember, it's into Christ, have put on Christ. You're in the body of Christ when you're baptized into Christ. The gospel of Christ is good news. Eternal salvation is to them that obey him. So we got to learn to obey. We got to have the faith to obey, to repent, to confess him as Lord and Savior. In Acts 2 verse 30, they said, Let all the house of Israel know surely that this same Jesus whom you have crucified, God has made him both Lord and Christ. It has to be the rule of our life. So it takes faith for us to repent. You know, in, in, in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, Paul writes that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And Jesus completes that in Luke chapter 6 and verse 46. He said, why call on me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say? Another good example there in Acts chapter 16 where we see that the, uh, when Paul and Silas was in prison there and the earthquake and the jealous said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? He said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and I shall be saved. You know what happened then? They took in that same hour and they taught the word of God to him and they baptized him and his household. And then they went and had a, a, a meet together and rejoice. Isn't that beautiful? And Lydia, in Acts chapter 16, when they talked with Lydia down by the sea, when she heard the word of the apostles, she was baptized. And then she invited them in to stay with her. See, we have though that example. Many of the Corinthians here and believe and were baptized. Acts chapter 18, verse 8. When Philip went down to Samaria, he preached the kingdom, the gospel, in Acts chapter 8, verse 12, it said they were baptized both men and women alike. So we have an example of salvation. We have the example when Jesus said, except you be born again, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. In the beginning was the word, and the word with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning. 
All things were made by him. There was nothing made that wasn't made by him. In him were life, and the light of, light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He was not the light, but he came to bear witness of the true light, the light of every man that came into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came on to his own, and his own received him not, but as many that did receive him, he gave the power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe. But when we believe, we got to obey. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Mark 16 and verse 16. So it's very important to understand that when we believe, we must obey what we believe in. And that's why it's so important for us to understand the gospel of Christ. Because eternal salvation is to them that obey him. But let's look at a few other blessings. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings, heavenly places, in Christ. See, that's why Jesus said you must be born again, because when you're born again, you're in Christ, which is his body. You're in the church, the church of Christ. But you are the body of Christ, 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Romans 16 and verse 16 said, Salute one another with the holy kiss. The church of Christ salute you. See, you got the identity, now you have to get the doctrine. Second John verse 9 said, He that uh, transgress and abides not in the doctrine of Christ has not God. But he that abided in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. See, that's how we fulfill Jesus' prayer. In John chapter 17, that we all be one like him and the Father one. Jesus prayed before he left earth. But all spiritual blessings are in heaven a place in Christ. Having chosen us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children through Jesus Christ to the good pledge of his will. For them he also foreknew, he also did predestinate. Them he predestinated, he also justified and them he justified he also glorified jesus said come unto me all you that labor heavy laden i'll give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i'm meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest for your soul for my yoke is easy and my burden is light come let us reach together said the lord isaiah 118 let not your heart be troubled if you believe in god believe also in me for in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto my own. For where I am, there you may be also. Then come at the end when Jesus shall deliver the kingdom back to God. Read 1 Corinthians 15, verse 24. You know what happened there when you study that? Jesus gave all authority back, and he just become one of the children like us. In Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 10 said he's going to be bringing many sons to glory. I tell you what, take your time, study the verses, because we're all working together for the Lord, striving to do what's right. Repenting as we see things wrong, correct them. See, so don't humble yourself before the Lord, he will lift us up. It's a blessing to get together. I know that you'll benefit as much as I am from looking at God's word. We all grow together. Second, Tim, Second Peter 3.18 tells us to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All glory go to him. It's not he that commended himself. It's he that the Lord commended. Keep that in mind. You know a lot of people say, I did this, I did Uh-uh. It's the one that commended, that God commended. We hope that we encourage you today. Been an encouragement to us. We'll see you next time. God bless you. Continue to study your Bible. This has been Gospel Restoration with Dempsey Williams from Montana Street Church of Christ and Richard Mendenhall of Chaparral Church of Christ. 